Hi and welcome! Here's a project I'm working on today, these simple yet beautiful woodburn spoons. There's a list of supplies in the description below. Just to note, this tool is really hot. Please don't do this project around children. I found that it was easier if I kept the whole cord on the table so it wasn't pulling when I set it down at all. With this project, make sure that you go slow and that you keep your uh, wood burning tool as perpendicular to the surface as possible. This first part is in real time. I will be speeding it up later so you can just see how the process goes. I begin with a really light line and then I go over that line just so that I have a guide to go by. If you feel more comfortable, you can draw this out before you actually burn it onto the spoon. This is a pretty simple design, so I've just drawn it straight onto the wooden spoon. There are a lot of different wood burning tools, probably would give you a little more flexibility in heat, temperature and those kinds of things, but I just purchased the least expensive wood burning tool that I could find. It was about $15. Later on I'm going to show you a beautiful way to package these spoons for gifts. Remember to take your time. I have sped this up for video purposes. This isn't a long project, but you do need to take your time in burning uh, all the details onto the spoon. It doesn't have to be perfect or perfectly match this pattern. 
have fun and make it your own. I just had to throw that fun music in there. I got this pasta at my local grocery store. You can get yours wherever you'd like. It may not look exactly like this, but this gives you an idea of how you can decorate it and make it look more special. I paid a few dollars for this box of pasta, probably a dollar each for the wooden spoons. So this really isn't a very expensive project, but it looks so nice in the end. I should have measured and cut this paper on the long end rather than the short end. I wasn't really paying enough attention. So if you do it on the long end rather than I did here, you won't have as much space when you wrap that around the box. You'll see what I mean when we get there. This is honestly my favorite glue ever. If you'd like to measure the box so that the paper is more accurate, you can do that. I just didn't want to take the time to measure and usually don't. You can see that this piece of paper doesn't quite fit right and that would make a difference if it was measured. But in the long run, in the end result, you can't really tell and the overall appearance still looks good. I try not to be too hard on myself. Don't be too hard on yourself either. This is where if I would have cut that paper on the long end, it would have wrapped around to the bottom of this box. But it still looks all right. I cut two pieces of paper here, but you'll see I really only need one. This glue will need to set for a few seconds just so that it won't come up when you wrap it around the spoons. I love how these spoons nestle into this box. I hope you get the concept of this. There's not really exact measurements and it depends upon what size and shape of box that you use.
I'm making a homemade tag here. You can make it any size you want, so I didn't really give any measurements. I love how these turned out, and here's another way to wrap these up beautifully. I found this beautiful silk napkin on clearance. This is a great alternative if you can't find beautiful pasta in a box. I hope this has inspired you to have fun, be creative, and try some new things. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share it with someone else who may also love this project. Thanks for watching.